Live from the Moscone Convention Center in San Francisco, California, it's The Cube at Oracle Open World 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Cisco Systems, with support from NetApp. And now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE. We are live in San Francisco, California at Oracle Open World. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media. I'm joined my co-host here in the Cisco booth. On the floor is Jeff Frick, my co-host. Uh, we are going to be covering Oracle Open World 2014 like it's nobody's business. We have two live concurrent CUBE operations here within the Cisco booth and also on our other channel at the CUBE Logic booth. This is our fifth year covering Oracle Open World with the CUBE. Over those five years, Jeff, we've interviewed 3,500 people uh, in IT and tech and tech athletes. I'm super excited to uh, be here because we are in the fifth year of documenting the Oracle transformation. Uh, Larry Ellison's keynote, always a pleasure. The Twitter sphere lighting up. Uh, great to be here. Uh, good to see you. We're kicking off here in the Cisco booth. Explain to the folks why we're in the Cisco booth. Yeah, so uh, we're expanding our presence here at Oracle. Really, John, for the second time, as I think you noted, all year we actually have two concurrent cubes going at the same time. The demand is up. People have a lot to uh, to say. They want to get their stories out there, and they know the cube's a great way to do it. So we're down here on the on the exhibit floor. It just opened up. A ton of people. A ton of energy. They got the uh, the World Cup boats out front. John, if you remember last year, they were actually racing those those boats, and Larry missed the keynote. But he did it an intro keynote yesterday, and there were some other intro keynotes. The media the show kicks off today, but they did have some of those big keynotes yesterday. So John, I wonder if you could give us your analysis on what you saw on yesterday's keynote. So Jeff, the big story last night was Larry Ellison's keynote speech, but he was also, you know, in the warm-up band was Suffer uh, uh, Katz, the new CEO, Mark Hurd, the other co-CEO, gave a keynote this morning. But Renee James at Intel uh, gave a big keynote, really highlighting Intel's presence at Oracle Open World. Again, <laughs> Intel, Intel Inside is really winning with the cloud. They made some great investments over the years, and we're going to hear from Kim Stevenson shortly here, the CIO of Intel. And then Larry Ellison came on, and here's the bottom line. Oracle is in the midst of the major transformation to the cloud. And this is the year that you're going to start to see the meat on the bone. Larry Ellison was teasing out essentially push button database, essentially private cloud in the public cloud, offering native apps as SaaS, and Oracle wants to have a presence at the infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, where at each level of the stack, Oracle will have a competitive offering and disrupting the competition at the infrastructure level, they're going to commoditize. They view the commodity of the infrastructure as a key part of the strategy. They want to go at or, uh, Amazon Web Services directly and commoditize and offer the lowest cost possible. At the platform as a service, that's about database portability, application portability, and orchestrating all the key things at the platform as a service. And finally, software as a service, that's the marketing cloud he introduced, and the human capital management, which is basically the, the competitor against Salesforce. So Jeff, bottom line is, you're going to see two things happen. They're going directly at salesforce.com for the SaaS business, and now the emergence of social media, mobile, social, and big data. Big data, you cannot ignore it. It's native in the platform, as Larry Ellison said, very similar to our CrowdChat application cloud that we have, and this engagement cloud. This marketing cloud is Oracle's new front that they are aggressively investing in. This is going to be one of those areas that we heard a little bit of a teaser out from Larry Ellison, the marketing cloud, but that's going to sit on top of their existing investment in software as a service and basically offering all Oracle applications in the cloud. So again, big story, the transformation to the cloud so that customers can have on-premise and have native Oracle in the cloud. That's ultimately the biggest story here. Yeah, it's interesting. It just continues on the trend that we've seen. You know, we've been covering the AWS show for years and they really kind of pioneered and spearheaded the cloud movement. But just, you know, last week we were at Inforum 14, uh, run by Chuck Phillips, formerly of Oracle. And you know, they announced that they're moving all of their really uh, uh, 
industry focused kind of smaller scale apps to the cloud. And so this move by Larry, really co-opting the cloud message and getting all the, uh, the Oracle application stack to the cloud really validates cloud as a legitimate enterprise delivery vehicle for applications. Yeah, so the marketing cloud has 84 new SaaS products, 29 of them are their new. You're talking about data security. Oracle is essentially building in what he talked about three years ago as the iPhone for the data center. What they want to do, Jeff, is they want to be the, the Apple for the data center. And even Larry Ellison yesterday made reference to his walks with Steve Jobs to kind of bring up that uh, impression and kind of in Larry's own little uh, vanity way, let people know that he and Steve Jobs were really, really good friends. And that ethos of designing hardware and software at the same time really is a core tenet of Oracle strategy. So the entire Oracle cloud vision now executing out is all about bringing that kind of software and hardware integration into the cloud. So, you know, again, Larry talked about the new applications. He talked about essentially the Coracle Cloud Platform, which is the cloud database service, the Java, Java Cloud as a service, and then on top of that, mobile, social, analytics, and identity. This is their architecture, and again, they're moving the entire Oracle suite onto this cloud architecture, and again, grounded in big data, mobile and social. So, so before we go, John, just we're going to get going with Kim Stevens in a minute. Uh, your impression of Safra Katz, I think that was probably her first uh, keynote in her new position. I, she's a veteran, right? So she's very um, understated, and I think she did a great job. And she's humble, she's not the grandstander, you know? So she's, she's a perfect fit for the Larry model. Mark Hur, the operator. Uh, Safra's the, the numbers person. Of course, you got Henley inside, running the technology, and Larry overseeing everything else. So no real change in Oracle, but they, you know, their earnings have been down in their last quarter. So what you are seeing is not so much a, um, a bump in the road for Oracle financially, but an absolute transformation. So, you know, I think Larry set the table for his uh, successors, um, Safra Katz and Mark Hurd. And, you know, the big joke prior to that announcement was you got herding the cats uh, you know, in reference to- A lot of Twitter uh, action on that. A, a lot of reference to <laughs> what it takes to be successful in IT. Um, and of course, Katz being the last name and Mark Hurd being, Hurd being the last name, herding the cats as the theme. All joking aside, two good leaders, both different complementary skill sets, and in classic Larry fashion, competition for the CEO job. So, you know, Larry, you know, taking his sailing mojo to the table, brings it out, and you got two co-CEOs. What better way to create some competition amongst two different candidates uh, within Oracle? So again, I'm really bullish on Oracle, and Three years ago, it was really at the at the at the lull in, in Oracle's business, Jeff. It was the it was the calm before the storm. Oracle woke up and realized, damn, we actually got to get to the cloud pretty fast, and if we don't, we're going to be screwed. And I think it was a wake up call because that prior year, Oracle had the same old BS rolling out, and then all of a sudden, Larry had the cloud mojo and said, you know, cloud is here. And since then, the past three years, Oracle has shifted their entire business business to cloud architectures, because ultimately, Jeff, that's what customers want. Right. And Amazon's showing the way, and certainly Oracle's not going to let up their market share without a fight. So we're going to be here covering it on the ground as theCUBE, uh, interviews all day here beside the Cisco booth. We'll be right back here live in San Francisco at the Oracle Open World 2014. Join us on CrowdChat at crowdchat.net slash OOW14. That's our CrowdChat engagement cloud, our engagement container where we'll be storing the conversations, ask us questions, looking for your virtual hosts out there to join us. It's theCUBE, we'll be right back after this short break.